Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Fighting Spirit Green Ranger and Putty Patroller set. So this is a special retail exclusive set. It's not like a distinguished, distinguished, oh it's a very distinguished set. No, but I mean it's not like a direct retail exclusive where it's only one store you can get it at. There's like multiple stores. Like I got mine from GameStop. You can get it from Entertainment Earth as well. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store. So it's kind of like uh, a select retail exclusive and you might not be able to find it at Walmart or Target or something. So it's pretty easy to get your hands on. Not a con exclusive, not a singular store exclusive because that is AT&T now. So quickly, just taking a look at the package, very reminiscent of the black, or not black and gold, the Gold Ranger and Red Ranger Comic Con exclusive set where you have one art piece on both sides. The figures were obviously here. You get the continuing art on the side there which looks really cool. And it, you obviously don't have like the uh, well, you do have the weird CGI rendering shot on the back. There's no story for them, though. Like, the, the Putty's got the richest backstory in Power Rangers history, so what the hell? No, I mean, I mean, I thought they might include the backstory because of Fighting Spirit Green Ranger's special circumstances. And obviously, unlike the Comic-Con box, you don't have those little, you know, slides. The, it goes over in a special box set. So, let's go over our Putty Patroller here first, shall we? So I overall find him to be a pretty nice figure. There's really not a whole lot to mess up. You basically just have light, gar light gray, dark gray, and a little bit black. So there's not really a lot paint-wise that you can really mess up. I think they did a pretty good job on the molding. I think that the head sculpt looks really good. I never noticed quite this much till recently how much he has a mustache. Like it's like serious hardcore. I think maybe it's a little bit light compared to the show. Like the color, I mean, not the mustache. Like could be more mustachey, zero out of 10. But I think they did a pretty good job on it, all things considered. And it's not like it's one of the top tier figures that I'm worried about them messing. It's the job done of being a putty just fine. These are the default like hand forearms he comes with. You have kind of like the sword, for lack of a better word, hand here, and then just a regular hand as well. And then you don't have alternate feet because they're just boots, you know, but you know how putties roll with boots I don't know where that was going. He does come with two alternate hands You have one kind of just a, like a ball smasher not like like it's literally looks like a ball don't go there Then you have just sort of a grabby grab hand. That's a technical term Right there you can see and, and you switch them out just like you would the other hands I kind of loosened this one up a little bit more for whatever reason the the sockets on this one. This is the wrong side but you know they're putties what if finster was drunk one day and he's like oh, oh oh dear that was a terrible finster but the joints on this one are really tight like when i was trying to pull this off i was almost questioning like is there something weird i should be doing to take this off so if you do run into that just kind of do sort of what i just did and twist it back and forth to sort of loosen it. There was a split second where I almost accidentally pulled this arm off here because I was pulling too hard on this, but you can switch those out. It's kind of nice to have that variety, so if you get a couple different ones or you want a different style of putty weapons, you have that. Articulation pretty par for the course. You have the nice little joint here. You can see it moving here as well as the joint here on his arm. You got the swiveling. You have the elbow joint right here. You obviously can swivel his hands as you just saw. You have the articulation at the chest and waist right there. The chest here and then that little hinge at the waist. Solid head articulation. You can do creepy stuff because he's just made of clay. Nice little ball joint here on his leg. Swiveling there as well. Double knee joint. You can swivel his leg and you got a little bit of articulation here on the foot as well. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid putty figure. I mean, like I said, I didn't have too high of expectations of it, but I think it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the only real drawback I find with this is that if you want an army build, you have to buy multiples of a set that comes with another guy, but I presume they might do other putties later, and Z putties and the other varieties and stuff like that. Uh, and the, as far as comparison goes, the only ones I can think of is I have an original Z putty figure from back in the day, this is somewhere in storage, and then uh, an MMPR 2010 one, I think the little small ones. I think they did a regular one too, but I don't have them either at all or on me, so there's really no comparison there. But it's safe to say, based on the experience I have with them, that this is a step up from those. It's a high-grade putty figure. All right, now it's time for hashtag Team Silver Stripe. You can get your Team Silver Stripe shirts at the RR The Streets shirt store, which I'll link to in the description. There's some shameless self-promotion. So, if you aren't aware, this is the special version of the Green Ranger that had a silver stripe on his helmet, hence Team Silver Stripe, and the silver stripe you're seeing right now. 
that appeared in Dino Thunder during Fighting Spirit and the dream sequence in which Tommy fought his previous Ranger forms, Sans Turbo. It almost appeared in Legendary Battle, but they fixed it in post, which kind of upset me because I like this form personally. I always liked the way it looked. In my head, I kind of thought it was neat and it kind of represented, like, the purified version of the Green Ranger powers. And then people were getting so snobby about it, it made me just rally behind it more. But I think it's really cool and unexpected they did this. And it's our first release of the Green Ranger, oddly enough. So it basically gives us a look at the Green Ranger mold. Because as far as we know, when we do get a regular Green Ranger figure, it will just be this without the silver stripe. So, I mean, they could do like a weird... Primator version. Real just quick like cut in here. I almost forgot to show the accessories. I got so excited by the silver stripe. You do get an alternate Tommy human head, which is the ponytail style, very similar to the White Ranger one. I'm going to assume we'll see Mullet Tommy with the regular Green Ranger release if we see Mullet Tommy. It's not one of the better ones, in my opinion. Like, it's not that bad, but I, I think it looks a little bit creepy. It kind of looks like the royalty free version of Tommy, but it's pretty easy to swap out just like the others. You also get the Sword of Darkness, which is a nice bit of an accessory. I'm trying to remember though, did he ever even use this during Fighting Spirit? But regardless, I feel like that comes with anything remotely related to the Green Ranger. Like, I think one of these came with a Green Ranger water bottle once. Of course, you also have some swappable hands, just some sort of Dragon Dagger playing hands, as well as a Karate Chop hands, not a blurry hands. I think it's nice that they actually have a distinct flute hand here, which is just kind of neat compared to the other ones where it's always just a standard holding weapon hand. And you also have your standard effect parts, which is a nice little addition to make things seem a little bit more dynamic. Anyway, I think the helmet sculpt is overall pretty accurate and pretty solid, especially from some of the angles on the side. I don't have really too many problems with it. I will be doing a comparison to a couple other releases. I'll do a more widespread comparison like I did in Gold Ranger's review with a lot of different releases when we eventually get a regular one, but I'll definitely be comparing it to Legacy here in a minute. But I'm pretty happy with the proportions and the details on the helmet. He even has the white outline on the visor, which I don't, for whatever reason MMPR Red doesn't have, and I, I think the silver stripe paint looks good. My only real complaint around this area is I feel the neck between like the way the armor goes and his head looks a little bit squished like it looks like he doesn't have a neck there's some figures where like the lightning which we'll see I mean lightning legacy I always do that where it seems a little bit too long but that's really my only complaint I mean I'm sure it's not 100% perfect someone will probably be able to mention something about how it's off but I think it's pretty solid in terms of that I do still wish the shield seemed more gold. It's not completely Bandai pale, but this is the same color we got in the Armored Red Ranger one, and I don't know why it's a little bit more pale. Like, I think it could stand to be more gold, but whichever Green Ranger suit it's representing, whether it's actually the one from Fighting Spirit, whether it's the old US footage one where it was foil, it looked like foil foam, or it's the Japanese footage one, I think that this should be more gold. And it's also a soft plastic piece, which you can manage to finagle off. It's not completely attached on there, but you know, it's not one of those ones that separates or something that has a clear way of taking it off. Then the core body is basically like probably the same base mold as MMPR Reds. You know, obviously you have some differences here with the way the gloves look and stuff. And everything else it looks pretty solid. I think the green color on it is good. I don't really notice anything that's off about the color they used. I'm trying to remember if the color of the suit and the color of the, the little shapes here is different in the show. I feel like it is, but that's the only real thing I noticed and it's not that huge of a deal. Obviously you have the dragon dagger here, which I think is pretty well painted. And you can see actually the details of the power coin here, if I can get it to focus again. There we go. It still seems a little bit off. Like, I had the same problem with the Legacy figures. I wish it was just a little bigger. Like, I know it's the Dragon Dagger. I don't mean, like, longer. I just mean, like, a little bit wider so that it doesn't... It just feels small, even smaller than it should be, in my opinion. That's just for me. Articulation is basically the same as the putty, the same Lightning Collection mold. Happy to report, with both of these, I have no loose leg joint problems or anything like that. Let's check out the detail on the Morpher real quick. There you go. It's, it's pretty decent. It's, it's a little bit raised up, but it just clearly does look like a painted on morpher. So overall, not a perfect figure, but I am happy with it. I think for the most part, the Green Ranger mold looks solid. I really think it's cool we got the silver stripe. My only real complaint is just the, the neck disappearing a little bit. But let's do a quick comparison to some other previous releases. First, we have our only other official Silver Stripe release, which is this one here, which is, was like the legacy quote-unquote release of just the 5-inch figures that came in like a version of the old style MMPR 90s packaging. So you can see it's, uh, oops, don't knock them over, man. You can see it's a very different figure, a clear upgrade. You just have a golder shield, though. Then, of course, the other one being the Lightning Collection release. This 
But Dragon Dagger actually is a little bit bigger, which is nicer, but like the handle was so small. Like that's just kind of what I want is just kind of tweak it a little bit so it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out of its hand all the time. But obviously this one doesn't have the silver stripe, but this is a pretty close representation of the comparison of the mold since this will probably just be the same figure without the stripe. I mean, there's a chance they could tweak something here or there, but for the most part, I definitely prefer this one. I think that the helmet sculpt is a lot more accurate. This one's not bad. I wouldn't say it's outright awful, but it's definitely a little bit more weird now that you look at it compared to how accurate this one is. And he's got the too long neck. The perfect neck is right between these two, in my opinion. I do like the golder armor, though, That's, so you can sort of see the comparison there. And I do like that the morphers are a little bit more raised on this one. Like, it makes it look less like it's a sticker, uh, if I'm being honest. But he's obviously got a little bit more of an accurate physique as well going on here. He, not him. So that is pretty much about it for this set. Overall, I really do like it. I think it was a huge surprise. I mean, I figured they would do Green Ranger regular early because that's a very easy crowd pleaser. You know, Green Ranger, green, yeah, finish year 2019. But the fact that they did Silver Stripe, a form that I, completely honest, never expected them to do at all, and the fact that they did it so early in this set with a random putty, we got it at Comic-Con, and now you can already buy it, I think is super cool. So I'm really happy with this complete surprise set. I'm still not sure why they decided to do it and give us this release, as well as Armored Red and upcoming Armored Black before regular green, but I'm not complaining. I think overall, if you are a fan of this form like I am, I can definitely recommend checking it out if you want a bonus putty. You know, or if you're just impatient and you want a Green Ranger figure now and you don't want to wait until they get to the regular one, can definitely recommend checking it out. But otherwise, if you're super anti-Silver Stripe, maybe you're better, better off waiting, but at least you can get a look at what the mold looks like now. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.